Um, first off, let's talk about your love life. There is a, a, a really, really uh, nice type of an energy coming into the picture. And um, I have the card here of fantasies and daydream. Okay, so the seven of cups, thinking about all the possibilities, um, daydreaming, um, thinking about another person while you're at work, thinking about them um, even every minute of the day, because there's just really intense attraction and really intense soul connection between you and another person. It could even be like, you know, telepathically uh, getting messages from them and then, or thinking about them and then they text you and, um, or, you know, vice versa. They're thinking about you and having you communicate with them and having you text them at the very same second that they're thinking about you. So there's something here where there is a huge fantasy being played out in both people's minds and in both people's psyche. So I feel like you have somebody in your midst that is, um, that is heavily affecting you. It's, it's affecting your ability to do your day to day operations and to go through, you know, the, the, the moments of the day, mainly because you're heavily thinking about somebody else. And, um, you might even allow your responsibilities to go to the wayside as a result of it. The person that you're dealing with, I have here the death card. And um, it could be, you know, like a water sign. I have the chariot and the death card. So you could be dealing with a water sign, a uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You can also have an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra in, in the picture. Um, the death card is you have somebody that you're dealing with who is very, very powerful. And um, this is a person that doesn't really uh, mind being on their own, Okay. So I, I see this uh, skeleton and um, it's looking for love, it's looking for fulfillment, it's looking to feel human again. So I feel like you've been with someone who has been through the ringer, who has had their fair share of hardships and tribulations in life. And I feel like nothing really phases them. But at the same time, they might not need anybody by their side, but they're looking for love, they're looking for acceptance. So they could be very uh, sensitive. They could also um, wear a little bit of a mask. They might be, you know, somebody who, who hides behind like an intellectual mask um, to avoid the emotions. They could also be somebody who is, uh, who, who, who puts on an air that they're cold, they're cutthroat, they don't need anybody, but deep down they're quite sensitive, they're quite loving. And they're looking for somebody to complete them. Okay, he he's looking for something here, and it's a very um, it's like he comes from a very barren environment, from a very very barren landscape, and as a result of it, he's trying to find that person that can accept him for who he is. So you could be like this, or you could be dealing with somebody who is like this. If they're like this, they hide behind an intellectual mask so that they can avoid getting hurt, so that they can screen out people, so they can keep people's, um, people at arm's length, and so they don't get jilted or rejected. So you're, you're dealing with someone who doesn't handle the rejection very well. But nonetheless, they are a very, very powerful figure. They get a lot of things started for themselves, and a lot of the times I feel as if with this temperance card, you want to be like them. You don't know how they did it. You don't know how, despite all the trials and the, the tribulations in their life, how are the, how they're able to manage it, how they're able to overcome so much adversity and not have the, 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 those things break them, but instead transform from them as a result. So you have somebody here, I feel, that you really, really, really admire because of the resilience and the strength of character they, that they bring to the table. And in a way, you're trying to, you know, make things work with them. If this is somebody that you're crushing on, they have a very, very powerful presence. And um, the word that I'm sensing here is charismatic. This is with the King of Swords energy. This is somebody that gets stuff done. They see what they want and they can, you know, strategize to go after what they want. 
And when we have the chariot, the chariot is somebody who perseveres. The chariot is somebody, you know, against all odds, they've made it, okay? So there's something about this person where they might have a very, very dynamic or a very interesting life story. And it seems almost like, you know, if their life story were published, um, it would be like one of those um, books that will be immediately made into a movie because it's so inspiring. And you're dealing with somebody like this, or you you yourself can be like this. And a lot of the times when we go through like um, really deep periods of the soul, um, we find it hard to connect to, you know, people on the mundane level. We find it hard to sit there and banter and make small talk and little chit chats, mainly because we understand that there's more to life and we shy away from superficial types of relationship. And then as a result of that, I feel like you're with somebody that gets you. You're with someone that has been through their fair share of uh, hardships and they came out okay. They, they didn't come out broken or they didn't come out with this victim mentality. And so you're starting to see the strength of their character. You're starting to see how resilient they are and they're very inspiring for you to be with. Um, there is a big energy here as well where there has been a lot of stalled and stops along the way. And I feel like, you know, it's like a, a relationship where there are have been many, many detours. And the two of you are finally able to get a chance to come together. And um, I mentioned for another sign, this is like the two of cups energy, you know, where we're doing things in moderation, we're deciding to take it slow, where we're trying our best to manage our responsibilities as well as the obligations in the relationship. And I feel like you and your partner are testing the waters of a new relationship. If it's a new crush or a new person, you or your partner. Um, and I, I keep seeing somebody has been severely hurt in the past. And they're just like, let's just, you know, take it slow. Let's just um, delay the getting together and getting intimate and getting physical because uh, somebody has been hurt. They might have some trauma that they're working through and they're not yet ready to come together and, you know, be so intimate. And um, hence the fantasy you know, this is like really, really intense sexual attraction that we have for another person where we kind of daydream, we kind of, uh, we're at work and we're thinking about them and we're thinking about all the things that we could do with them. And I feel like there's an energy here about one person wanting to slow things down or you're dealing with someone who is so intellectual and it's really hard to flirt with them. It, it's like... There's a sense of intimidation here. So it's really, um, I, I see you charging ahead and really, you know, making your feelings known because, you know, Leos, you guys are so passionate about how you feel. And when you feel something, you want the rest of the world to know. There's also an element of possessiveness, you know, wanting to claim another person, wanting to be with another person and wanting to, to make it known. Like, you know, I'm with you. I want the, the, the world to know. I want the whole company to know. I want all my relatives to know. But they're telling you to slow down and they're telling you to just kind of like let things ride out or really enjoy the moment. Mainly because they've been through their fair share of bad relationships and they don't want this to be a repeat. So I feel like they're doing it out of a lot of respect and admiration for the union that the two of you have together, but moving so fast and so full speed ahead might not be the best option. Okay. Um, the other thing I'm the last thing, actually I'm picking up from this spread as well is, um, I feel like you and your partner, um, if you're in a solid committed relationship, there's a lot of travel, there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of shifts back and forth. Um, if someone has had like emotional issues, emotional trauma, they're going to be able to overcome it and they're going to come to you and they're going to be like, you know, I've, I, I'm healed. I'm ready now. Or, you know, they're, they're like, I'm sorry for the emotional roller coaster that I put you through because of my past experiences. 
Uh, but, you know, I've, I, I've healed, I've uh, done the work on myself, let's come back together. And I feel like a lot of you, you know, you, the, the feelings are still there from your end. But there's a sense of skepticism about you. Like, are you really healed? Are you just giving me a spiel? I feel like your partner means it. And I feel like there's a lot of sincerity in this spread. Okay, we have... Um, three major arcana cards that fell out with the temperance card, the death card, and the chariot. So I feel like whatever was off kilter, there's a transformation coming in to bring it back into balance again. So this is a beautiful energy. In other areas of your life, um, I see some of you are... Um, so the, the, the spiritual message that I'm getting here is... Um, don't rush the process. There's a time and a place for everything. And for many of you, you're trying really, really hard to start a new phase in your life. This is like scanning the horizon for opportunities. So you might be at one job and you feel a little bit like the job itself is very, very physically demanding. It's very taxing of your energy. And I also feel like it's not exactly where you want to be. So some of you might have fallen on some hard times. You might have taken up a, a job temporarily and then the responsibilities are mounting and you feel like this is not what I signed up for. Or you feel like it's not giving you, you know, um, the demands of the work. And I feel like the odd hours, you know, um, possibly having to work like the night shift. And so you're sleeping during the day. Because with the temperance card, this is like things happening in the very wee hours of the night. And so you feel like, okay, I'm not able to go out with my friends. I'm not able to be with my loved ones. I'm not able to see my kids or spend time with my family. And so I need to find a, another job that will allow me that work-life balance. And I feel like you're scanning the horizon. You're looking for opportunities. And um, you're trying to find something that would fit your schedule along with the, the schedule of the people that you love or just, you know, uh, trying to find like trying to normalize your schedule and your workload. And so I see like the balancing act. It's going to be um, OK for this week if you are negotiating contracts, if you are renegotiating contracts, uh, be patient with the process and you know, as with all fire signs, um, we tend to get a little bit impatient and we want a specific thing the way that we want it. And oftentimes when we bargain, I feel like you might not be the best at bargaining because um, you would rather speed through the process. So don't shortchange yourself. They're saying to be really, really patient and to, you know, allow your... Um, third eye chakra to kind of activate, which means taking a step back and uh, allowing everybody else to talk and allowing the, the, the process to kind of drag on a little bit, because I feel like it's going to be in your favor. So if it's a negotiation for a house situation, for a new job, um, let everybody else put their cards on the table. I feel like the longer you delay, the better the outcome it's going to be for you. So they're trying to, you know, give you the first offer that's on the table. And um, they feel like you might take the bait. But if you wait it out, you can actually negotiate better. You can wear them down and you can, you know, get at whatever it is that you're looking for. So if it's a work contract, if it's a client, if it's even like uh, bargaining for a new job, and uh, putting in, you know, your your conditions, you want to hold it off a little bit. I see for many of you, um, this is like a major move, okay? Somebody's moving to see you with this chariot card. Somebody's making a major massive move in your direction. And you've been talking about this. You've been thinking about it for quite some time. And you've been, you know, kind of planning the, the, the process with them for quite some time. And you might be the one making the move to see them. They might be making the move to see you. It's the one's energy. So I feel like it might be you doing this. And then as a result of it, I just feel like, you know, it's a long distance relationship possibly. Or a situation where you are faithfully and loyally waiting on another person to, to come into the picture. And there's going to be reunion there's going to be, it's, it's almost like, you know, the end of um, 
the singlehood, be the end of being alone, the end of a major process in your life so that you can embark on a brand new journey with another person. So there's a definite, you know, coming together that's happening this week. Talks and communications about, you know, um, about travel, about plans, about moving in together, about incorporating another person into your space. And work and negotiations, I feel like, you know, there there will be people on board, there will be contracts signed, there will be a really, really good, um, kind, some type of a negotiation, I feel, gone right. But the trick here is to be very patient and, and you know, cl be clear with your expectations, but also be very, very patient about the process so that you don't get the short end of the stick, Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I wish you all the best. So take care of yourself. Okay, Leos. 